Hello and welcome. This is Hless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to deal with the uh, number 14 tutorial, Toast and Saving Data, Part 1. And uh, what we're going to work with most today is going to be looking at Toast and uh, how it works and how it affects uh, the future of your Android production capabilities. One of the first things I want to do is I want to go here and look at one of the links that I put in the description of a tutorial 14 about toasts. Uh, this is the Android developer website and I just wanted to walk through uh, the actual website for a second and show you how incredibly useful this uh, well of knowledge is for your future in being able to develop and create apps. Alright this right here is actually referring to uh, class inheritance and inheritance allows one class to, as it says, inherit the properties of another class. Um, and extends uh, specifies the base class from which you're inheriting. Uh, that means you get all the functionality of the class that you are extending, plus you can add methods as you like. Again, this is not a Java tutorial, but I am going to talk quite a bit about Java because it's such an integral part of developing apps. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we want to start up uh, the app that we created. And once we get it started up, uh, we also want to start uh, the emulator and uh, get the app itself running. Now, once that's done, we're going to talk about the app. Let's go look at it right here. And uh, we've got two different things going on here, basically, two different activities. Uh, let's take a look at the one that comes up first. So, see this button here at the top. Uh, what we're going to do, what we use this for, is to launch a second activity, which we called New Activity. And uh, this will just bring up a, another activity with some text on it. And the second button right here, we'll use this to basically call the finish method of our. Um, activity our main activity one of the first things I want to do is I want to go back here and take a look at uh, the manifest the manifest is one of the important parts of the uh, your application that we really haven't paid a lot of attention to but we'll look in here see application and then activity now each activity will have its own little section. This right here, if you look in it, that's the package name, it's the label, and the action intended is main, right there. But if you look in here, we've got another activity, and that's the new activity, that's the one that we created. So that's going to be our second activity. And uh, that's, this is where all you can find all your activities that you ever use. They will all be listed in the manifest. I'd also love to point out that when you have the time, you should go back through here and find the, uh, the, these, these comments and read them because they're pretty thorough. Uh, I did not actually write this code myself. I did modify it. But the vast overwhelming majority of it, including most of the comments, are written by the original programmer. And uh, these are really helpful, and they, they talk a great deal about the lifecycle method and how it is applied uh, to this particular app. So uh, I would highly suggest you go in there and, and read in there, and it helps you understand how your app is developed. Also, another point about comments, if you're ever writing code, and you want everyone who ever reads your code to hate your guts, don't put comments. You need to put comments for everything for two reasons. Primary being one, most programmers really, really despise people who do a lot of programming and don't put any notes in it because it's very, very annoying when you have lots and lots of code. And number two is because if you're like me, you will come back to a piece of code an hour, a week, a month later, and you'll have no idea where you were or what you were doing with this piece of code. And if you have notes, you know. So 
very, very important that you have notes and make lots and lots of comments. Just a short little informational <laughs> tidbit that you will need to know and will thank, uh, thank me for at some point in time and space. Now let's switch over to uh, the emulator and open up our app. Okay, what we've got here are two buttons and this. So the first button is what we're going to use to launch our second activity. And if you click it, it launches your second activity. And all it is is it's just some text. It's nothing big. Uh, there are a lot of activities on the bottom in the toaster. Uh, and those will show you the different stages of, uh, of, of activity as it goes through them. So we're going to use this back, go back. All right, now the second button, this calls the finish method uh, of your activity. And as soon as you click it, you can see what it does. Yeah, see, it called the finish method. So open it back up, go back in. And finally, we have here this edible text field. Uh, which we will be using uh, to input basically our names and this will be used as an example for the saving aspect of this particular app. Alright, now let's take a look at how it does all these things. Let's go back into main, activity, Java, and turn on show line numbers. And what we're looking for is the add click listener for buttons comment and if you'll scroll down down here to about line 37 now when you place a button or a widget on your your screen it doesn't do anything it has no nothing there uh, in Java code wise really it's just art basically in order to get your widgets to do something you have to code them through Java and this is a listener basically what it does it sits there in the background and it waits for something to happen on this particular instance it's waiting for a click now what happens here is something else much further down in the code so scroll down to about line 205 you see process button clicks and this is the on click view v this is what happens when you click uh, the button one or the button two it goes to the new activity or it does this other one calling finish this right here the word toast is the toast that we're talking about uh, toast are those quick little messages that, that pop up uh, during the activity. Now one of the things about toast is one of the aspects of toast is it's never the focus. Um, that means uh, when the user is typing or doing something on the screen uh, they can sort of ignore the message because it's not going to affect what they're doing. It's just going to pop up and then go away. Uh, it's very unobtrusive and that's what it's designed to be. In the description I'll put a link uh, to the actual website from Android developer about toast you'll be able to learn a lot more about it from this just simple little tutorial and it actually goes through in quite a detail in different aspects uh, everything from how to reposition and uh, to completely how to write a completely customized toast view for yourself and that's pretty much it uh, for the beginning tutorial on toast the next tutorial I'll be talking about uh, saving memory which is a little bit more complicated although we only use one of the, uh, the primary aspects of memory saving so that'll make it less painful so thank you for joining me this has been H with John teaching an Android studio tutorial please thumbs up and subscribe